Hey, welcome to another Veracity Racing Data instructional video. In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up and calibrate a linear potentiometer for an AIM system using Race Studio 2. First of all, let's go ahead and use Device Configuration to select our configuration. Go to the Channels tab and choose which channel it is that you're going to attach the potentiometer to. In this case, I'm going to use channel 5, and I'm going to name that channel Left Front uh, Shock, because it'll be attached to the Left Front Shock Absorber. The sensor type wants to become Distance Potentiometer. There it is, Distance Potentiometer. And I can choose over here the units that I want to use. You can work in either tenths of a millimeter, one hundredths of an inch, or in degrees or percent, percent of full travel. I'm going to work in one hundredths of an inch. I'm going to set the low scale and high scale. Since this is a four inch linear potentiometer, 100 millimeters, I'm going to set the range for the Ray Studio 2 analysis graphs to be from minus 0.5 of an inch to plus 4.5 of an inch. Now, the part that most people are missing is at the bottom of the channel list, when you choose distance potentiometer, you get a new field down here called parameters. And this basically sets what the maximum travel is of the potentiometer. It's going to measure the voltage, 0 to 5 volts, over that range, but it needs to know how big the range is. So, if you have a 100 millimeter potentiometer and you're operating in millimeters, you would enter 100. Since I've got a same 100 millimeter uh, linear potentiometer, that's 4 inches, and I'm working in inches, I want to enter the value 4. Once you've done that, you can transmit this configuration to the logger. And once that's complete, we can actually go over to uh, device calibration where we set the zero point. So what's going to happen right now is it starts out with the potentiometer moving from 0 to 4 inches, but what I really would like to do is calibrate it so that the zero point is when the suspension is at ride height. So I would mount the potentiometer on the car, put the car on the ground so that the, the car is at its normal ride height, and now I would calibrate this left front shock by clicking the calibrate button. That just makes whatever the current position is zero. Any time that potentiometer extends, the distance will be negative, and any time it compresses, that distance will be positive. So let's go ahead and transmit that configuration. And then we will go to the online view, and we'll actually look at this potentiometer. So now, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this left front shock channel. You can see it starts out at the zero, and I don't currently have that mounted on a uh, on a car, but if I were to compress the suspension, you'd see that it reads a positive value, and if I were to lift the car up off the ground to where it goes into droop, it actually reads a negative value. So now you know how to uh, calibrate and configure a linear potentiometer in AIM Race Studio 2. Thank you.